Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Tuesday, January 19th, 2016. It has... Oh, um, before I start watching anything else, uh, Sierra is still missing as of this morning. So, it has been cold here. Um, right now, according to my phone, it is 10 degrees. Our high today is just supposed to be about double that. Yesterday, our high was in the teens somewhere. It has just been frigid weather recently. Um, we're supposed to, to warm up, if you will. You know, you heard, the, heard the air quotes. To like, you know, today's the 20s, and we're supposed to gradually work our way up into the 30s, and we're going to be, you know, kind of bounce around between the 20s and 30s for the next week. Um, but yeah, it's been, you know, really cold. Yesterday I wore a sweater, so I had on, I had on, you know, like a normal button down shirt plus a sweater. And. Uh, for some reason, I, I've never understood this. You know, commercial buildings can never seem to be able to get their their uh, HVAC, their heating and air conditioning, working properly. You know, I, I don't understand it because you know I, I can set my thermostat at home and it gets hot when I want it to get hot and it gets cold when I want it to get cold or cooler. But for some reason, we're just incapable of, of setting a thermostat in a business and having it um, having it having it be work, having it work properly. You know, so I get I get to work yesterday, and I have taken off. I've unzipped my coat. I've like taken off one arm of my coat. I don't even have my coat off yet. I still got my fedora on. And I'm like, holy crap, it's cold in here. And I walked over the thermostat and it was like 65, maybe a little lower. So, you know, I immediately, I have a, um, a baseball cap with the company logo on it. Actually an old company logo, but um, I immediately put that on, and by the time the morning was finished, my sweater wasn't enough. I've got this little fleece sweater, zip-up sweater that I wear a lot there. Uh, I ended up putting that on over top of the sweater that I already had on. So I had like four layers of clothing on. Finally, by afternoon, it warmed up enough that I'm like, okay, I think I can take take this stuff off, but... It just shouldn't be this hard. but And it's not just the place where I work. I and mean, this has been something that's been, you know, fairly constant. A lot of places that I've worked over the over the years. Um, this place, for some reason, always seems, you know, if we have like a sudden cold snap. Uh, the first, you know, it's been like fall and you've been kind of, you know, in the 50s, 60s. Uh, kind of thing, and all of a sudden you get a day that's like 30 degrees unexpectedly. You walk in there and it's like 50 something. And it's just like, I don't understand how you get caught out by that. I really don't. But it's been it's been something that happens over the years. I just I just never really understood. You know, kind of that whole you know we can put a man on the moon. But we can't get building heating to work properly. It just boggles my mind. And you know, this is not, this is turning into like a weekly occurrence now. There was one day, and I don't think it was Monday, where we came in. It was like 65 degrees last week. So. Again, I don't really understand. Yeah, you know, we have a thermostat. There are thermostats around. We have a thermostat in the in the room where I sit. You know, we have thermostats. Why? What's happening that they're being ignored? That they're not working? 
I don't understand. I really don't. I, I kind of have a feeling is that they're putting it in some sort of a shutdown mode to save energy, you know, ignoring the thermostats. They're doing it based on time, and then whenever they have it wake up, either it doesn't wake up or it doesn't wake up in time to warm up the offices before we get there, because screw us, we're just employees. It's more important that you know we save that extra f- five bucks for the gas or whatever the heck it's going to be. There was one. There was one. Um, one place I worked at, and this was a. Very, this place was actually did a lot better, and this was many, many years ago. But we got in there, and it was like fifty-five degrees. It was. It was so cold, and you know we got our coats on, and you know we're trying to. You know, we're computer programmers. We're trying to type on our keyboards with our gloves on and it really wasn't working well and finally you know after we've been there for a while and we're just freezing our asses off we decided you know what let's go get breakfast and so a group of us went and we went to the Denny's and got breakfast sat there for about, we were probably there for, you know, a normal you know, hour close to it. And by the time we got back to work, it was much warmer. Um, so it's been something that happens occasionally. But that was like a, you know, one time, oh, the, you know, the boiler shut down kind of thing. It's the consistent stuff that kind of gets me. Um, it's like, why, why, you know, it was cold last week, it's cold this week. Why can't the system have the room at a normal temperature when we walk in on Monday morning? I don't understand. But anyway. It really wasn't what I thought I might talk about today. (laughs) But I really didn't have... uh, Have something. You know, I kind of wonder, what, what are we supposed to do with this? I, I just passed this place. So we got. I'm on this road that it starts off as freeway and then it turns into not freeway. And they're doing some road work. So we got get the barrels up and, and whatnot. And they've got a set of temporary speed limit signs saying that the speed limit is 70. And they got those placed so that they are just about maybe 20 feet before we reach the speed limit sign that says it's reducing to 55. I just say, okay, thanks. Guess what? We were already going 70 or above. But thanks for confirming that for the last 20 feet that we're allowed to go 70 that we're doing good. I appreciate that. Anyway, I think I'll probably let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.